Uh, Derek Dugan, that just transports me to 1972. So I'm about seven when this magazine came out. And uh, it's, the, uh, it's the season after Tottenham have beaten Wolves in the UEFA Cup final over two legs. And my old man went to both legs of that um, final. And Derek Dugan, Wolves, it's all sort of part of that moment. So, yeah, no, it's very intensely nostalgic, really, really transportive. You know, Derek Dugan, in a funny way, was sort of uh, like my archetypal footballer in some ways, you know, of the of the era as a kind of seven-year-old. That's what sort of footballers look like and behave. <laughs> so that was really great. And then it was so funny to be reading about the Watney Cup. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like, you know, again, completely transports me to that moment. I'm suddenly overwhelmed with images of Watney Red Barrel adverts from the era uh, and uh, New Year's Eve parties at uh, a Scots family round the corner who always had a New Year's Eve do definitely Watney's Red Barrel at that. Um, so that was kind of, that took me there. And then it made me think, oh, who, how, what was the score of that final? And I checked in. Um, with the details, and I remembered it was all decided by a Martin Chivers uh, goal, uh, 2-1 in the first leg um, at um, Molyneux, and then it was 1-1 at Tottenham, and he scored this unbelievable rocket 30 metres out shot. I've forgotten how great Martin Chivers was, how much I loved him as a seven-year-old, so that was like my little YouTube moment. So yeah, no, I was like, Right, right in there with uh, with Derek Dugan. 